Greetings, greetings, and welcome back to another session of Temple of Know Thyself. As you hear, we've changed it up again, constantly uh, changing, doing something different every time we come. All right, today's the 12th of the 5th, 2024. Uh, halfway through the month, now we're coming up to. Halfway through the month, time is flying, time waits for no one, as they say. Time waits for no one. So, appreciate the the love I had um, last week. Um, I'm going to touch a little bit on the some of the comments and um, some of the feedback I got <laughs> from uh, family and friends. Yeah, it was a bit different, innit? it? It's, it's always good to be different and changing. Change is always good. Change is always good. But um, <clears throat> let me start off with the the gym session for me. How it's been going, you know. I'm I'm all about the health, is the wealth. Always setting goals, you know, things to achieve. Working on developing self for me is important. Um, I like training, and I call training my wife. So it's part of who I am, <clears throat> what I am, and it gives me great discipline and that discipline leads on to other things in my life like being consistent in doing my little podcasts and um, finance it helps me with my finance and other things in my my life as well so that's why i call it my wife they say behind every successful man there should be a good woman so the gym is my woman <laughs> so yeah, that's why I like it. <clears throat> so, um, I've got some personal challenges and goals that I'm working on and I'm aiming to achieve within the next three months. Um, at the moment now I'm fasting. I do some intimate fasting and then I do fasting. I mix it as well with that. So as I speak, I'm just on water. I just came back from the sauna. Got a little little pain in my lower back and that's because I'm losing the weight and the love handles are going now so the type of training I was doing before I can you know abuse the body but <laughs> but now I'm losing weight the, the body is uh, I have to be a bit more gentle so I have to work on my technique and definitely change up some of the weights and stuff like that that I'm doing yeah so the fasting you know it's um it takes a lot out of your body but i enjoy i'm used to it i'm used to doing fasting it's always good to do <clears throat> a bit of cleanse now and then so that's what i'm doing for the next three months aiming to at least get a stone off me um and i can see the change already but mainly the fast um the fat You'll see it around your face and your arms and so forth like that. The, the stomach is the stubborn bit. And this is this is the food I'm working off that I um, put on when I was traveling and uh, from December. So it swings around about, you know. I enjoyed myself, indulged, and now i got to work it off. So I don't mind doing the work. So this is the journey. And the fasting works for me. <clears throat> it's not for everybody, but it works for me. Um, my rowing last week I came in at 22.40 and this week I came in at 22.24 so I've managed to knock off a couple seconds here so I'm happy with that so I keep raising the bar <clears throat> every week pushing myself and I know it's going to get harder because um what was my my ultimate one is like I think it's 21 I put it written down somewhere yeah it's 21 uh, 55 that's my my PB so <clears throat> I'm already training my mind that based on this time that I've got here 22 24 seconds if I want to beat my pb i need to knock off 30 seconds but that 30 seconds is hard man it's not easy 
So I'm doing 5,000 meters, which is quite a lot, um, in 22 minutes and 24 seconds. Row, this is rowing, yeah? So I'm, I'm, the big picture, as I said, is to knock off 30 seconds. However, how I train myself and encourage myself is we 30 seconds into like 10, 15, 20, you get me? As we're building up to that 30 seconds. So every week that I go, so I'll be back on it on Tuesday. Hopefully I should be okay because my back is still irritating me a little bit. Um, so I know my goal is to try and knock off at least five seconds if I, or four seconds. So that'll be like 22 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, if I knock off the four seconds. So that's how we do. We break down. We look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is actually get to get 30 seconds knock off. And getting 30 seconds knocked off would be be in 21 minutes and it'll be 50 seconds. That'll, that'll be me beating my PB. So I've got the time, which is about two months and a bit um, to work for it. And every Tuesday, that's that's my personal goal. So we'll see the bigger picture and then I'm going to break that 30 seconds down, trying, not trying, working towards beating it. So that's my, my personal goal. And then I've changed up my exercise as well. So um, I'm do my best to come off the weight, not too much. Uh, or lighter weight, sorry. I'm going to use more lighter weights and other... Um, equipments as well because the weight's coming off a lot so I have to be careful for injuries man I hate being injured it just ruins my whole program so that's why we leave the ego it's very important to leave the ego and work on the technique I need to improve my technique sometimes I'm rushing rushing, rushing so I need to improve on that but in general I'm okay the gym has been been blissful for me it's very very good so I, I, i'll keep pushing myself then in that three months we're gonna see what, what we're gonna look like and as i said changing up my eating habit i'm putting a program there for myself and remember this came about as well because let's go into mum so my my gym stuff pushing myself as i said today i'm, I'm still fasting i'll break my fight i'm not too sure i'm gonna break it tonight or i'll i'll break it tomorrow but we've got plenty, I've got plenty of water here that I'm drinking. Um, so I'm okay. And and this started, because I'm about a week and a bit into it now. This started because of mum. Yeah. Um, because of her issues. I, I did fast, but I did internet fa in, uh, intermittent fasting. However, because of her situation, I thought, yeah, I'm going to fast for you. And then I just said, you know what, let me just continue. Because I'm used to fasting anyway. Yeah. I said, let me continue. Um, she's, she's getting a bit better. So for this week, she has been uh, eating most of the stuff that I've given her. But the last couple of days... She has went, she's gone back to summer habits. Um, which is the pasta and stuff like that. And it's a challenge. I mean, it's a challenge to, to get someone to break these habits. However, at least we were able to try some, some of the good thing is that's come out of it that she said she's not going to do any frying. We've got air fryer we can utilize that tool that we have, you know what I mean? So hopefully that um, she can use the air fryer instead of frying things with the oil and cut down on some of the pasta and stuff. So the moment now she has soup, we, me and um, one of her friend made soup yesterday. So we got soup for a couple of days and then I still bought some of the salad and tunas and she's, she's introduced bread now 
but what I'm saying, you can have these things, but it's in moderation, yeah? So she's back on her feet. She's been walking for the last two and a half days. Still a lot of pressure there. <coughs> but um, you still have to look at your eating. And I mean, fasting is not for everybody. You know what I mean? However, I do recommend that you, you do try it. Because from fasting, you realize that we eat a lot, for me anyway. And um, from when I watch a lot of people and see the, on YouTube, they say a similar thing to me. You don't need to eat a lot, you know. You just have to eat quality food. You know what I'm saying to you? And we, we overeat a lot. So since I've been fasting, I realized that I eat food. <laughs> I eat a lot of food. We, we binge eat. <clears throat> So when I break my fast, um, sometimes it's with a fruit or nuts, but I notice um, I'll have salad and then I'll put like this week I've got mixed beans and stuff like that. So I'm, that's what I'm going to eat with salad. And I realized after like I put like a bowl of salad and stuff, my belly's full up. But because I'm so conditioned to eat, I'll be like, yeah, let me eat again. And you can't eat. You can feel the stomach is full up because the, the fasting shrinks the stomach. You know what I mean? So we stretch the stomach. So I've noticed that, right, I don't really eat. I don't eat a lot. As long as you eat the right things. So I'll, I'll make uh, smoothies. I take uh, almond milk and um, banana and blueberries tastes beautiful to me it tastes like like there's honey and sugar in it because the almond milk is so nice and sweet with the with the banana so these kind of things i'm trying to give mum but you know what um <laughs> one, one of the lessons i've learned yeah um people will do um what what they want to do there's nothing you can do um I was having a conversation my mom listened to this show and she was explaining to me that you you, you can't empower people um, and we were debating about the words of empowerment or encourage and I'm like you know my show is about Encourage, well, and I'm using her word. It's about empowering you to make informed choices. Yeah, I can't force you. She said that I should use the words encourage. Okay, encourage, empowerment to me is about you making a choice for yourself. Yeah, I'm on the journey of learning. However, at the same time, I'm saying to her that, okay, if you're, and it's good to have positive criticism. You know, I mean, um, that's how we learn. But you take what you want, and then what's relevant is not. That's the whole thing about having choice. That's that's why I do the show. I have a choice to do something. I'm contributing something to society. I'm I'm contributing something because I want to, and people have a choice to listen to or not. And our conversation, it, it went something like this I'm like okay you have your opinion I have my opinion then come on my show and then we talk about no nah, I don't want to do that she said <laughs> I said cool then that's the difference between me and you yeah that's the difference there's a quotation uh, I want to say is from Confucius The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right. Uh, Confucius is a Chinese philosopher, teacher, politician. Whether you agree with me or not, you're bo we're both right. The point is that I'm willing to do something that you're not willing to do. Yeah. Um, another great poem. I'm not going to read all of it. Walter D. Uh, Wintel. 
is his name yeah and it, it's a the poem is called um, the man who thinks he can so i'm just going to read the last bottom line of it life battles doesn't always go to the strongest or the fastest man but sooner or later the man who win is the man who thinks he can so i'm willing to do something that other people are not willing to do because i want to change so i'm i'm saying these all given these stories that everybody will come with their philosophy and their opinion and confucius is um you probably heard this quote as well he's the one who you are what you think that's the guy that actually came up with that concept yeah so <laughs> like one of my um uh, mentors said that everyone has an opinion like everyone has an asshole it's for you to act on your opinion that's that's what i'm saying about uh, confucius we are both right yeah les brown talks about people have so many ideas and dreams and aspiration but yet they're all in the graveyard because they weren't willing to do or act on it i'm i'm saying that to say that if you know the answer then act on it like if if you know what you're doing is destroying your body then act on changing you know because we we also had a conversation about she says to me <laughs> cuz we're a family we're having a conversation you know she said to me this i and i what what are you talking about i and i and i'm saying it's it's a concept it's 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 about knowing yourself it's it's like a restaman which cuz no everyone's restaman but i said it's an it's an idea it's, it's a philosophy it's a way of thinking yeah i and i know thyself she goes but you're a well spoken young man why do you speak like this and i'm like then come on my show <laughs> come on my show and articulate come on my show and we have a conversation about it's great you tell me these things but i want some action the same with your health i'm showing you i'm willing to change i'm willing to do things to achieve my goal however you're the one who's suffering from the pain and the issues you have from the things that you're doing I can learn from you you can learn from me that's what I said in the english term everyone has an opinion like everyone has an arsehole and from a philosophy point of view as the, the the great philosopher says the man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right so you just have to choose as i said everyone has an opinion you have to decide on what you want in life You know what I'm saying to you? Uh, decide what you want. Um, and as I said, positive criticism from my uncle, <laughs> my friends, my mom. I appreciate it because it's about taking the time out and to listen and share it. It's it's a sharing. You know, I mean, we're just sharing ideas. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have to agree with everything you say. You don't have to agree with everything I say. but i appreciate that you take the time out to listen because you could be doing other things and my show is just about empowering you to make informed choices and as my mom said it's about encouraging we're both right the point is it's about doing something to elevate yourself and to better yourself that's why i say i and i is just reason it's just me reasoning with myself really Yeah, it's a personal diary that I'm making and sharing my experience with other people and I bring people in and we sit down and we reason and there are different ways of looking at it you know what I'm saying to you as they say in the Bible who have ears to hear let them hear you know I mean if it's for you it's for you you know it if it doesn't rock your boat it's cool I'm leaving a legacy I don't want to go to the graveyard and said you know I had this great idea 
and I didn't act on it. So that's where I said each one teach one. You know what I mean? We can create not all these nice philosophy and stuff, but it's about the action behind them. So as I said to my mom, listen, you have to make a choice in, in your health. You've been warned. Yeah, your body has reacted in a certain way. You make a choice. I can take criticism because I'm learning. I make a choice on what I want. What am I going to do? Um, and I said, I can't please everybody. That's why last week's show, I said, I stay in my lane. I just come and I create something that I wanted to do for myself to stimulate my mind because I listen to my show sometimes when I'm at work and, and learn what can I do different or how can I improve or should I have said this or should I have not said that however my takeaway me message is I'm learning that you know I'm willing to do something I'm willing to put myself out there and take criticism one of my exercise videos <clears throat> I was doing <clears throat> someone said to me you you were doing uh, the squats wrong but they didn't realize i had a bad back my back is paining me <laughs> but yeah i was still exercising uh, and i just replied back to them you know i'm gonna work on my technique you know what i mean because i'm willing to learn if i'm doing something wrong but i was gonna explain to them that you know what my back is paining so i think that's why my technique is bad but i just said no no problem i'll, I'll do my best to improve you know what I mean, um, as I go along, because we're learning. Life's about learning. So we come and share the, and it's about empowering people or encouraging people, as my mom said, to make better choices. That's all the show's about. <clears throat> That's what the show's about. It's, I have a friend I just spoke to. <clears throat> He's lost his job. And we spent like an hour and a half, two hours nearly. And I'm encouraging him again, empowering him to say, okay, you drop the bag, you drop the ball, you need to get back on the horse. Yeah. Uh, stay focused. Go into that, that I call it monk mode. Some of the friends and the things you're doing around you, you need to cut it away. So I said to him, while I'm fasting, I'm doing certain things, I have to cut certain things away. Like, what's what's your aim? What's your goal? What's your focus? Yeah. You have to learn to say no to some things. But you have to want it. You have to decide what you want. Yeah. Don't take things for granted. Appreciate. And I gave him my scenarios. Like sometimes I do stupid things at work, even though I'm an intelligent person. <laughs> uh, I get um, laxy daisy. You know, you you get <laughs> you take things for granted, in it. So I said to him, like sometimes I have to check myself. <clears throat> I have to remind myself that this is my bread and butter. I can't afford to mess up. I have, to, I have to check myself. And that's why the fasting comes in. It allows me to discipline myself. And that discipline comes from the gym. So even though I'm in pain and stuff like that, so I go to the sauna and, okay, Monday's coming up now. <clears throat> and I have to reevaluate and look at myself and say, okay, yeah, I'm losing the weight. Okay, some of the things I'm doing, I can't do it the same way. Yeah. Because I'm losing the strength. I, I, some of the bad technique I'm doing, I can get away with it because I was bigger. The body can take it. Now, no. The body gets injured very easily. So I have to change. I have to look at things, look at what I'm eating, how I'm eating. I have to become more aware or conscious. So you have to take time out and just study and just look and understand what you want to do and whatever you want to do you got to work for it <clears throat> nothing is easy nothing is easy yeah? now I'm drinking my water it's like <laughs> I want to break my fast but I want to you know, I can do a couple more hours 
because I have a certain goal. You know what I mean? And I, I balance it out, by the way. I balance it out. I don't just... Just go and eat any junk. No. I make sure I, I put back the right nourishment in my body. You'll see. You'll see. You got to go after what you want. And stay focused. Easy said than done. Like I, I want to be. I want to break that 30 seconds. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about it. I'm in the sauna. I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I need to break. I want to break. I want to break my record. That 21, 55 seconds. I'm saying it's only 30 seconds. It's only 30, but 30 seconds is hard. It's hard. So I have to break it down into pieces. But I know I will do it. I know I can do it. And I'm training myself. I'm training my mind. I'm training my mind. So that's what it's about. It's it's about having something and breaking down the big pictures into small pieces and going after it. And don't be distracted by the things around you, you know? Because temptations are always there. Temptations will all come. So I said to my mum, you, you got to change, man. <clears throat> you want to live? She said, yes. <coughs> you got to change. If you want to live, you got to change. You got to change. what Because what you're doing doesn't work. What you're doing is same like me, as I said. I look at myself and I'm like, ah, what I'm doing is not working. I'm hurting myself. So I got to take time out and study and understand and learn from my mistakes you have to change because you want to change if not you'll be doing the same thing over and over again it's called insanity insanity expecting something different but you're doing the same thing So change is important. That's why I would change up the show. I look around, uh, ask God, you know, look at my environment and look and say, wow, what can I learn? What can I do different? And I was listening to a show and I'm like, the guy was saying that we read all these books but the books is a way of for you to kind of understand what's inside you already that the answers are inside you already so whether that you, you want to be wise successful health wealth spiritually in tune like kind caring loving these things are all inside you but what we do we read books to bring out what we have inside us already it's inside us already you know what I mean so if you want to heal yourself you can heal yourself if you want to change you can change yourself it's work it takes work like getting up in the morning and going to the gym is hard work. However, I feel empowered. I feel empowered because I'm like, this is the second week. And I'm looking forward to the end of May. Because it boosts my confidence, my self-esteem. That I'm actually in it. And they say like being in the present. This is an idea that I had. I was talking about it at the start of the year because I knew I was going away on holiday and now I'm in it and I have to deal with all the challenges and the ups and downs and I love it, I love it and I can see that the body is changing it's changing so I'm in the present, I'm living in the present so 
So during my show, it was an idea, and now it's manifested. So that's why I asked my mom, like, she's gonna get back to me. Like, what will be your legacy? Go away and think about it. What, what, what will you leave on this planet before you go? We all came here for a reason, so we have to leave something. You know what I mean? Whether that's instilling something, I don't know the answer. You gotta figure that. Whether it's instilling something in your children, in your society, you make something, I don't know. One of my uh, personal goals, and I remind my mom, one of my personal goals was to build a house. And I've done that. I did it abroad. It's just to paint the house now and it's finished. It's, it's an idea that I had and I'm like, wow. Like it, am it amazes me sometimes. Like, right, the idea is actually manifested. <clears throat> and I've lived in it. Yeah. So if I was to drop dead, I always say to myself, you know what? I actually had a dream, an idea, and I brought into reality, into this realm. I always have that smile on my face. Like, if, if I was to drop dead tomorrow, like, that's one of my goals I want to do. So I felt, I feel happy that I was able to accomplish. That's what I'm saying. What, what do you want? <clears throat> what will be your legacy? And that's not material. It's just something that I want to do. My Everyone's goals are different. Some people want to be a millionaire, a billionaire. <clears throat> I don't know. Doctor, lawyer, footballer. Like, that's what I said. Les Brown talks about the graveyards. It's one of the wealthiest places because people have these ideas and they never manifest it. And that's what I said to my mom, like, I'm doing something because I wanted to do it. Whether I speak articulately or not. The point is I was able to do it. And the journey is what develops me. It's what do I learn on the journey. So I know the more I practice, I do something, there's an ideology or a philosophy out there called the 10,000 hour. The more you do something, if you do 10,000 10, hours, uh, it, you become an expert. So me just doing this over and over and over, I become better. I'm able to articulate myself better. Because as I said, it's only been running for like seven, eight months. And and the show has changed. It keeps changing. It keeps great. It shows that I want to grow. It shows that I want to develop. And it, that's the same with my audience. I want you to grow and develop and it keeps changing it keeps changing I just wanted to do something different I want to share my opinion and my ideas with you to stimulate your mind that's what it's about I don't know the answer I'm still learning I'm still learning that's why you hear me say a lot of these quotations I use these people as my mentors so the man who thinks he can is up on my wall because I was listening to a podcast and I heard it. I was like, wow. It's a poem. And I am like, I can, I can what? I can relate, I, can, I like that, I can relate to that. The man who thinks he can. And I said, the race is, you know, it's, it's not about life battle that doesn't always go to the strongest or the fastest man but sooner or later the man who wins is the man who thinks he can and that's i'm like yeah i can i can relate to that i can do that i'm willing to put my put myself in the race i'm willing to do a podcast i'm willing to build a house i'm willing to do something that other people are not willing to do i am willing to change myself for my for me uh, the next poem I have is Psalm 23, which my grandma 
taught me, so I keep it there. And that in that poem is just just explains that your your head is not. I, I take the words to empower me, to encourage me. My head is anointed. My cup runs over. Naturally blessings, blessings. The table around me, there's plenty of abundance. You know what I mean? So you use these stuff to encourage yourself and empower yourself to make informed choices because that's what it's about. Remember? That's what my concept is. I'm saying to my mum, you need to listen to all my shows and then you understand what the concept is about. Temple of Know Thyself. It's all about just knowing you. I just come here to encourage you, to empower you, to make a better choice. So taking a deep breath, isn't it? That's all I'm here to do. If you want to be stimulated, I just come here and just stimulate you. I'm using my experience and other people experience. So all these quotations, I use them as mentors. I look at what they say and how can I use it to uplift me? Because I have challenges like everybody else. Like my mom is stubborn. <laughs> what do they say? I don't want to misquote it. You can't teach an uh, old dog new tricks. So you're stubborn in your ways. And that's confrontation, isn't it? Because I'm trying to encourage you as I'm using her word. And I'm using empower for you to change. Because I'm seeing you suffering. And as a human being, if I have kindness in me, I'm going to want to pass my kindness on to you. Because I don't want you to suffer as human beings, isn't it? So I'm saying, but I'm seeing you suffering and I'm trying to advise you that and the doctor, what you're doing doesn't work. Hence why your body is telling you, I don't like this. This is the reaction. So I'm doing my best to encourage you to say you need to change. But however, it's the, it's the lesson I've learned that <laughs> people will do whatever they want to do. Everyone has an opinion, like everyone has an arsehole. So Confucius, which is a smart man, says they're both right. So I'm going to stay in my lane and do what I need to do so I can have in the present peace of mind. I want a peace of mind, isn't it? <clears throat> so Monday's coming. Um, my back's hurting me. I have to be very wise. What I lift and what I do. If not, <laughs> my body will suffer. Because the body is saying, ah, listen, man, you did something there, you know? You, you, you twitched a muscle or a muscle is tired or something or you didn't stretch. I'm terrible at stretching. I am terrible. I do not warm down properly. So today before I went to the sauna, I spent like half an hour just, just stretching. Yeah. Because the body's telling me, listen, man, you, you, you're mistreating me. So I have to listen to the body. So you're the, you're the, you're, you are your first doctor. You are your first psychologist. As it says in the Bible, be still and know that ye are gods. So some of these problems we know. However, we don't want to do the work. They say that the um, person that builds his house on a good foundation on the rock is solid. The person that does it builds his hands on the sand, you know what I mean? They get washed away. So for you to build a good foundation is like building good character of who and what you are. You gotta put good things inside you. You gotta understand. <clears throat> you put rubbish things inside you, you get rubbish outcome. What you put in is what you're gonna get out. I mean, this is the philosophy, isn't it? So if you eat junk and bad food and this and that, that's what's gonna happen. 
That's, that's the mentality. Doesn't matter how wise you are. <laughs> oh, you say, yeah, God, yeah, I'll pray to God. No, you've got a mind. That's why God created you. You have a mind in it to think. And if you think, people are, oh, you can't think like that. Oh, you can't say this. You can't say that. Why can't I say that or think like that? Because you said so. That's your choice. That's not my choice. If you can do better, then you do better. As Confucius says, we are both right. So, <laughs> I'm not going to argue because I say to my son, when two people are arguing from a distance, you can't tell who the fool is. So, it's okay. As you get older, uh, that's why I like some older people. I like them for their wisdom. And young people have wisdom as well. But older people, they, they say, there's a saying, old brooms know all the corners and new brooms sweep quick. <laughs> yeah? So that's what I say, each one teach one, isn't it? You can learn from both sides. Because you've been around the block. You've seen things that I haven't seen. But the new brooms, we have seen things that you haven't seen. You know? So we're both right. That's that's the philosophy of what the man is saying. Tell a lie, there must be a truth in it. You can't tell a lie without there being a truth in it. There's some truth that binds it, that holds it together. For you to tell I, as I said last week, I had a man said, <laughs> for you to understand what a fool is, you have to be a fool. You have to have done something foolish to understand what it is. Then you say, shit, I was a fool. <laughs> so you have to be a fool. You have to do things wrong to understand what right is. So when you tell the child, don't put their hands in the fire, they're still going to put their hands in the fire. Bam! It burns them. That's the fool, I'm saying. And they put their hands in again. That's the fool. But they're, they're learning. That's how we learn. That's how we learn. we all on the journey of learning. So that's what the show is about. It's just I and I reasoning. We're just reasoning with the higher self, the higher consciousness to reflect on the week ahead or the things that we've done in the past. It's so always and being the present. We're in the present now. Yeah? So I always ask God to stimulate me, yeah. encourage me because you've put me on this path. So enlighten me, you know what I'm saying? Enlighten me so I can grow because I don't want to be stagnated. Yeah. Let me grow. If it means that I'm by myself and be in my lane, cool, because I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace. I'm, I'm a very peaceful person. <clears throat> I have a friend, um, We are due to have a conversation. His lifestyle is totally opposite from mine. Lives a fast life, has nice things. <laughs> he's a shotter, he's doing his stuff. And then he said to me, you know, Russ, uh, I need to come and talk to you, man, because I'm getting older and the things that I'm doing, I need you to help me regarding the, like getting a pension and so I said yeah man when you're ready man because the the things he's doing is not legal but you can see ahead that he needs to swear himself because as he's getting older it's not sustainable and he hasn't put things in place to to help him but sometimes 
as as an outsider, you look at that lifestyle and you're like, yeah, man, I want, I, I, I like, am I missing out? <laughs> I'm missing out, man, because because it looks nice, it looks glamorous from the outside. But I said, remember last week when when I went to counselling. When you see, when you're sitting and you listen to people's problems, you're like, nah, nah, I, I, I'm happy with mine. Because <laughs> as my mentor said, never envy somebody. Never envy, never envy somebody. Because you're taking on their burden. So from, from the outside, when I look at him, he's like living the life. I feel like I'm missing out. But then he reaches out to me, he's like, you know what, I, I need... It. I need to make some investment. I need to do some things because he knows this. That, that lifestyle he's doing is not sustainable. If something was to happen, he's, he's effed up. So we have choices. We're both right in it. That's what I'm saying. Confucius tells us. We're both right. So I'm using other people's experience to help me in the present. Confucius goes back to the 1920th century. Way, 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 way back. You know what I mean? But he's lived that, let me say, old brooms. Old brooms and all the corners, isn't it? So he, he's telling me something. He's telling me something that I can use to empower myself or to make better choices, informed choices. That's why we use them as mentors. That's what they're there. Something like what I think Bob Marley talks about. If you don't know the roots, your roots, you're kind of lost in it. So figure out your roots. Learn from the past. Because as I said, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. Learning from your past can help you in the present. Learning from other people's mistakes. So I look at people and I'm, I'm like, okay, I want to learn from your mistakes so I don't put myself in those problems, in those situations. So that's why my friends reached out to me. He's like, listen, I know what I'm doing is not sustainable. So. Can you advise me on how to make some moves so I can come out of this situation that I'm in? Because it's not sustainable, you know? So we all have choices. We just have to choose the right one, as he says. They're both right. There's no negative or positive. It just, it is. And if you're going to fight and argue over it, that's your choice. It's, not, it's nothing to do with me. I think that's where you, you start to understand what wisdom is about, isn't it? So yeah, that's it. That's my show, man. It's not, it's not going to be a long one today. Just holding a vibe and you know, reflecting and constantly working on self and wanting to better oneself and to encourage everybody out there whatever you want to do just go after it just you've got one life man people are always going to judge you <laughs> whether you do it or you don't do it people are going to judge you so just just go and do it if you have an idea a business I don't know where you want to sing like my son sings some of his music I'm not into he asked me he sent me he posted me something the other day I'm like I didn't really like that one but there's other songs I like However, he's willing to do it. I encourage him. This week, I'm going to call him, have a chat with him because he has his exam. These are his final exam. We spoke during the week because he was misbehaving. And I'm trying to explain to him, why are you bringing stress on yourself? You're meant to be at peace. You're meant to be relaxing your mind and preparing for your exams. Yeah. Don't bring problems to yourself. So choose wisely, I'm saying to him. Choose wisely, you know. 
You're a sensible young man. Yeah, choose wisely what you want. Because you're not choosing for me, you're choosing for yourself. Even to go to university, I said, don't go to university for me, man. I've done that. Yeah, <laughs> choose what you want. I've, I've, broken, I've broken that, what do you call it, generation curse. Like, I, I've been to university. Yeah, I've bought a house, I've built a house. I've, I've, I've run my own business. Like I've done a lot of things. Now it's for you to decide what you want to do. I've broken the curse. You, you have choices. You have, you have choices that you have to do for yourself. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, make choices for you, not for me or your mum. I say to him, go university because you want to go university. Don't go university for me. Don't get into no debt for me. <clears throat> In fact, I prefer him to do an apprenticeship, I told him. I said, find something that you like and see if you can get an apprenticeship in it. But choose wisely because it's your burden that you have to carry. It's not mine. You know what I'm saying to you? So yeah, that's it, my people, man. We have a... We're halfway through the month, man. So it's like, it's for you to sit down and reflect what is going to be the next two weeks. What do you want to achieve? Like, you know, put your goals down, what you want to do. And what do you want to work to? You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, I don't know. It could be going on holiday, you want to save money, you want to lose weight, you want to do this. Whatever you want to do, just go out and do it. Just take a risk. What is it? You've got nothing to lose, man. Take it. Take the risk. And I said, yo, big up to my uncle. <laughs> he listens to my show. And <laughs> I can't remember what he said to me. But I was saying some stuff for last week's show. And um, <laughs> yeah, he was telling me. Yeah, I, I don't want to misquote him. And um, AK, Don's man, Smokey Joe. Thanks for the support, man trouble you know you've got work to do man stay focused stay focused and tony sort yourself out man sort yourself out you need to sort yourself out to everybody else that's listening you know just have a wonderful week man have a wonderful week and just believe in yourself whatever you want to do people are always going to give um, criticism just listen because they're both right. Remember Confucius told her? <laughs> You're right and they're right. Just move on with your life. Don't argue. What's the point? Because from a distance, no one can tell who the fool is. Remember? <laughs> so, <laughs> that quotation, just remember it. The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't, they're both right. That's it. So my people, have a wonderful and blissful week ahead. Thank you for listening to the words of Salongo. Uh, I and I reasoning, temple of know thyself. Just a mellow, chill out, man. As I say, we're always changing it up. I don't know what next week we come with. I just go by how I feel. And then we take it from there. You know what I'm saying to you? There wasn't a lot of notes today. So just some bullet points I put out there. So... That's it. Thank you. God bless and um, enjoy the week. Have a prosperous and wonderful week. Keep smiling and live in the present. Be yourself and stay focused. As my mom says, <laughs> opportunity is a man with hair. Grab it while you have it because once it's gone, it's gone. So take care, my people. I love you. Have a wonderful week ahead. Peace and love, tranquility and balance. Take care. <laughs>